So this is going to be a reading for my Capricorns. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to be looking at what you're not expecting to happen from April 1st until the 15th. Let's get straight into it. If you are new here, welcome. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button if you want to be a part of the tribe here um, and see more of my readings. And also, if you're into daily horoscopes, I post them on my Instagram as well as my Twitter. You can follow me on my Instagram at Mystical Crystal Tarot, and you can follow me on my Twitter at Mystical Crystal if you're interested in that. And if at any point you want a personal session, I offer phone sessions as well as video readings. When I say video readings, I mean video sent via email. It's not like webcam. Just got to make that clear. But um, let's get straight into it. Capricorns for April 1st through the 15th. What are they not expecting to happen? So let's talk about it. So we do have divination. Um, so some of you may be getting more into divination. And when I say divination, this isn't just limited to tarot. This could be you trying to get into runes or um, pendulums, pendulums like this. Um, what else? Really any form of divination. Some of you guys may be exploring that. Um, you also may be finding that you're called to the tarot, especially if you've been really interested in it. Um, you feel like you want to read yourself. This is you, um, like trying to learn how to read tarot. <laughs> um, another thing, some of you may be like gifted with certain spiritual gifts, whether this is, you know, being clairaudient, clairvoyant. Um, what is that other one. There's so many, but anywho, <laughs> you may have a spiritual gift that you may have, you know, been ashamed of since a child because you didn't quite understand, you know, why you could see ghosts or why you could, you know, hear messages or how you could intuitively pick up on things. Um, and now you may be finally actually embracing it and actually starting to love that aspect of yourself, especially if you did kind of push that away as a child, especially if you didn't understand it. Um, we also have contemplation here. So during this time frame, you also will be going in the space of contemplation on some business deals, some things that you may be wanting to work on. This is like formulating some sort of clear cut plan. So say, for instance, you're trying to, you know, go on a vacation in the next three months. This is like trying to budget, write things down, contemplate on where you're going to go, how you're going to get there, how you're going to do this, how you're going to do that. This is like just trying to make sense of your life <laughs> after having an over anxious mind. So in the month of April, your mind may just be all over the place. But the best thing to get out of that mental space is to actually write stuff down because it's hard to keep things sorted out mentally you need to sometimes physically write it down okay somebody that you guys may also be close to um you may be waiting on this person to reach out to you this doesn't have to be just romantic this could be a family member friend it could be a lover really anyone but you could be waiting to hear back from someone and it may be taking some time for them to get back to you because they're still in the contemplation mode on whether or not they're, e they're even going to speak to you if they're upset with you or in terms of a final decision, if that's what you're waiting on. Um, we also have luxury. So some of you may be treating yourself to a luxury purchase or for some of you, you could be realizing that financially you may be taking a hit because of the fact that you do spend your money on things, you know, trying to live your best life. And sometimes as people, we want to, you know, have the, the luxury experience, but 
when it comes to real wealth, um, the best way to build that is actually being cheap. <laughs> so some of you may be needing to be more frivolous or not frivolous, excuse me, more frugal with your finances, um, not just buying things because of how it may make you feel at the moment, but more of um, the long term in terms of saving. OK, it feels good to you know look in your account and not be dead broke after paying bills and things like that. So which one feels better? Is it the luxury purchases, you know, whenever we're down and we're upset or is it when bills are paid and we have a savings or if it's not because savings, saving is horrible. Okay. But I'm not a financial advisor. Anyways, moving on. Cause I'll go on forever, but saving is horrible. Invest your money. That's the last thing I wanted to say. <laughs> Okay, but speaking of that, we have abundance. So this is talking about money. Again, I'm not going to go too in depth with this because you guys know I can go on forever like a financial advisor. But when it comes to abundance, you really, you guys in this month are going to have to really understand what's keeping you from a point of feeling abundant. Is it a mindset thing? Is it a situation where you're not quite... um used to having a good relationship with money. This is you guys like reshaping your relationship with money because yes, a lot of you may have abundance coming through this time frame or you're focused on that during this time frame, but there's a need for you to get more of an understanding of your personal relationship with money and how you spend it. And if you have a clear understanding on it just as a whole. Now, moving on from that, some of you may have some very high tempered, you know, arguments with a Leo or an Aries or really a fire sign just in general. Um, through these arguments, you may realize a lot <laughs> in terms of how they feel about you. So like there could be an argument that sparks and then, you know, this person starts spilling how they feel. And this gives you a really good idea of, like I said, how this person has been feeling about you and where you need to put them in your life based off of their feelings. I also see you guys. Um, hmm. I see you guys getting really sick and tired of the in and out, in and out, back and forth. I love you today. I'm not too sure tomorrow from someone. Um, this could be really freaking stressful for you because it's like you don't want to cut this person off all the way, but then you also don't want this person to feel like they could just keep doing that to you. And for others of you, it's not even just the fickle thing. Um, for some of you, it's more of just the arguments and like never knowing how to really or never knowing how this person truly feels about you. It's like it's always a constant mystery because of the problems that are existing or just the inconsistencies. Some of you also may have some days where you're a little irritated. I would say, honestly, keep your distance from anybody who makes you feel like you constantly have to like defend yourself in conversation or like every time you deal with them, it's just existing problems. But I'm going to stop right here. Thank you so much for watching this Capricorns. I hope you took something from this video. If you did, feel free to thumbs this video up. Um, check out the description. Follow me on Instagram at Mystical Crystal Tarot. Or you can follow me on Twitter at Mystical Crystal, just like how it's spelled here. And I will see you in the next one.